So one of my viewers recommended this video and asked me if I would watch it. Watch it. It's Jim Gaffigan and it's called Who Drew the Map of Canada? So yeah, interested to see what this is in relation to. Uh, tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you've seen it before. I recommend more from Jim as well. And yeah, let's watch. Do you feel like the map of Canada looks unfinished? It's so detailed on the East Coast and then it's just wide open spaces. <laughs> It's almost like someone was working on it and they fell asleep. <laughs> and his boss comes over and is like, are you done? What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I just got to put some names in uh, uh, Prince Edward Island in uh, uh, Nova Scotia. Oh, so much land. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good point when you see the size you of like, Alberta and stuff. Land. <laughs> the boss is like, are you done? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> Columbia. That's true. That's a country, all right. Uh, British Columbia. <laughs> I've been to British Columbia. It's not very British or Colombian. <laughs> Vancouver was like a rainy Seattle. Spent a week in Vancouver. Somehow it rained for two weeks. <laughs> well, you guys had fun naming things Vancouver out there in British Columbia. Vancouver Island, Vancouver City, which is not on Vancouver Island, North Vancouver, West Vancouver, South Vancouver, you know, Washington State, you can have a Vancouver. Everyone gets a Vancouver. <laughs> Everyone gets one. It does appear you guys struggled with naming things a little bit. It's like Regina, <laughs> Moose Jaw. That's a cool name. Do you want I... people to go these places? That makes me want to go, man. Moose Jaw. And then, of course, there's so the cool. St. John, St. John's fiasco. <laughs> I don't know that one, actually. Is that a, place, a city called St. John's St. John, John's? St. John, New Brunswick. And then right next to it, St. John's, Newfoundland. Mm. I'm saying this like you don't know. We know! We live here, we know! <laughs> But what, it never came up. <laughs> Nobody took a boat from one place to the other one. Hey, that other place has the same name as this place. <laughs> Nobody confronted Newfoundland like, hey, Newfoundland, St. John, New Brunswick is the oldest city in Canada, so don't use that name. And Newfoundland's like, okay, okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, what happened? No, no, no it's different. It's different. Uh, uh, our capital, St. John's. <laughs> That's the same name. No, 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 it's different. You, you spell out Saint and ours is just ST, so it could stand for street. <laughs> Does yours stand for street? No, it stands for Saint. <laughs> but uh, we, ours ends with an apostrophe S, so it's possessive. So, like, when St. John comes back, he's going to be like, where do I go? I don't know where I go. <laughs> he's going to go to the Virgin Islands. Who are we getting? <laughs> I think it's fascinating that there's a part of Canada called the Northwest Territories. Still, today, I wasn't looking at a map from the 1600s <laughs> or watching an episode of Deadwood. <laughs> Name your country. <laughs> Northwest, you know, there are people that live there. <laughs> what kind of civic pride? Well, where we're from in the Northwest Territories, or as we call ourselves, the Northwest Territorians. <laughs> Go terror. <Yeah. laughs> How dismissive. How di It's like Northwest Territories. Can we, can we be a province? No. <laughs> you may not. How about a territory or a yard? How about Northwest Storage Area? <laughs> First, the Northwest Territories are smaller because in the 90s, the Inuit people were like, we'd like our own territories. And the Canadian government was like, oh, we didn't even know people live there. <laughs> sure, sure. What, what do you want your territories to be called? We'd like, uh, none of it. <laughs> Are you going to tell them, or...? <laughs> it's a great name. Great name, none of it, love it. Uh, sorry for stealing all the land. Anyway, we got a hockey game we're watching, so... I think it's 
strange. <laughs> like Canada, it starts off normal. The further east you go, the crazier it gets. Like Newfoundland is like bam 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 bam. Newfoundland is like the crazy uncle that you don't introduce to friends <laughs> until you've known them for a long time. <laughs> I don't want them to think I'm like that. Ah, Newfoundland, everything is crazy in Newfoundland. Everything. It's like in Newfoundland, uh, what time zones? Do you want to be in the same time zone as the Maritimes? We'll go a half hour earlier. <laughs> uh, worldwide time zones are done by the hour. <laughs> we'll go half hour. <laughs> I think it's actually the same in India as well. I know there's a. T I think there's a time. Okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, that's final on the thirty uh, as well. Here, um, is Newfoundland three words or two words? One word. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Because <laughs> it's Canada starts off pretty normal on the West Coast, British Columbia. You know, it's like beautiful natural resources. They shoot TV shows and movies there. That's like your California, right? And then there's then there's Al. There's, there's Alberta, where it's like oil and cowboys, that's like your Texas. And then there's Saskatchewan, which we've established are all perverts. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm not performing in Saskatchewan again. And then there's, then there's Manitoba, which Manitoba is like that friend you invite last to the party. <laughs> and only because you forgot they existed. Uh, <laughs> Per Manitobans. Canada picks on Winnipeg, right? That was kind of a big... Hmm. I remember I was in Toronto and I was going to Winnipeg and it was my first show there and everyone in Toronto was like, oh, bring a, bring a coat! <laughs> Winnipeg! <laughs> Hope you like cold weather! <laughs> uh, I'm not sleeping outside. <laughs> Then I got to Winnipeg and I was like, oh, oh they're right, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed it. Oh. I went to Winnipeg in February. Uh, well, that's when you want to go. That's... Well, man, that whole crowd was like unanimous in their like shock. Why is February in Winnipeg so bad? Is that when the terrible weather is? What do you think about the observations about Canada so far? It seems quite funny, quite interesting. Uh, tell me if you think they're all true or not. It was 50 below! 50! Yeah. By the way, at that point, it doesn't matter if it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. That's true. <laughs> it's kind of like hell. It's just bad. <laughs> it's bad. And you forget how cold it is. You forget how cold it is, and then you step outside, and you're like, oh! <laughs> and that's why your national anthem starts that way. It's like, oh, Canada! Uh, <laughs> Very good. Okay. <laughs> I convince half of you don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> oh, Canada, the pipes, the pipes are calling. <laughs> I'm glad to glad. People were so nice in Winnipeg. It was freezing. And they kept apologizing for the weather. They're like, sorry, it's so cold. Sorry, it's so cold. I was like, I'm almost positive it's not your fault. <laughs> but they kept apologizing. Sorry about the weather. Eventually, I was like, did you not pay a bill or something? <laughs> weather work different up here? <laughs> I was in Winnipeg for two days. Kept, kept running into people from the Philippines. I learned later on a lot of people from the Philippines have emigrated to Winnipeg. I know nothing about the Philippines, except for that it's a tropical paradise, <laughs> which Winnipeg is not. <laughs> which brings up the question, how bad are things in the Philippines? <laughs> if you're moving to Winnipeg, <laughs> you really want to move? I got to get out of here. Would you move to a place where you can't go outside? I'll go. All right, grab your flip-flops. Let's go. <laughs> I can say that joke because I'm from the Philippines. <laughs> Hi. As always, Manitoba and Winnipeg getting the brunt of it. But yeah, tell me what you think about that. After, after learning a lot about the different uh, 
personalities, the different ways of life in the different provinces and territories. It's quite interesting to see someone talk about all these different things. Uh, what do you think about it being Canadian? Do you like agree with everything he said there? Is it anything you disagree with? Very good observations. I'll need to check out more from Jim as well, but uh, tell me what you think about that and tell me what you think about his, yeah, his observations. Thanks.